Hi, my name's Mess and I'm from Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how to use uh, mold inserts uh, in a simulation in uh, Molex 3D. So, um, first of all, um, there are two ways to do it. There's uh, some call, one called non-matching, where the mesh is not matching each other, and then there's a uh, matching uh, mesh. Um, first, I want to show you how to use non-matching. Um, in the mesh control here, solid, you have to take this one off. It's a default off if you don't uh, do anything. So now it's on. <clears throat> And uh, then I import a model. I have prepared a model here. So uh, I import a part. I have made a small gate, a mold base, and a cooling. Uh, cooling. Yes, like this. And then I get this in. I double click here and say mold base. It's important. I made the cooling not as, as lines because uh, uh, I want, oh, I've got this one import geometry. This one. Because the cooling is running through. It's much easier to use uh, solids if a cooling is running through a, a mold insert. Uh, instead of uh, lines, that is due to the how the sequence of uh, meshing is. But anyway, um, away with mode base or hide the mode base, the part. This one, yeah, the cooling. Just right click cooling. Ciao. I can hit this one. The, this is a mold insert. Where is it? Yeah. And then I add a material group. I normally I change the color, so I, that's, you can decide yourself. But I really don't like the the yellow color. And core. This is when you have more different uh, cores in different materials, then you have, then you can define them um, in different groups. Yes. Then we have to have a runner system. I've just imported a line. I have prepared all this in uh, uh, code runner gate. And then I put on a melt entrance, and I just have to have some in and outlet on the uh, this one. Yes. Now I have the model. Then I need a mesh. Um, it's very important if you have a mold insert that the inner core is exactly on the cat is exactly matching the inner. Um, the inner part. So the best way is actually to, when you make the core that you uh, subtract the part from a, a slightly bigger core, and then uh, you have uh, the exact geometry from one to the other. So um, now, I give this one a seeding, mesh seeding, let's say one, apply like this, and then I can give the core, some cooling channel, but I give this core one, I give that uh, two. Uh, seating 
to apply. And you can see now it gets the two, but here the lines are fixed at the same. You can see the seating here is one. So what I can do to make this better, even though it's a non-matching, it's much better if the mesh is matching, uh, if you can do that by the split lines where the, the this meets the other one, uh, the part meets the core. So um, what I can do instead is uh, I can uh, split the surface in uh, Molex. You can also do it in the uh, uh, in a CAD program. But um, if I take this one and this one, say okay, so these I want to split this this surface and by this line and this line. Say okay. And now you can see. I got a split on the surface. It's still one united solid, but it's split. And then we have uh, up here, I want to again divide the face, this, 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 and this with, I keep shift down and this. And now, if you see the this, I have a um, an itch now. It's just still a flat surface, but I have an itch. So if I try to seat this again, seating here, to apply, you can see now this down is two up here connected is uh, one. So the even though I didn't match it, it's uh, still matching uh, on the node seating. Actually, this one, it was meshed in two, so I, you can also uh, seat them at the same time, but I'll also make this one to apply, apply. And then the mesh procedure. It's just like a uh, normal generate. I go to this, this one first. And you can see now it's still matching, even though it's, uh, it's because of the node seeding. So I just click here all the way down. And I get a solid mesh on these final check and now i got a mesh the only thing i have to do now compared to a normal um simulation without mold insert is in the process. So I go here, I give it a material. I can use this one. Double click here for the process. That's my normal settings. Fill time 0.6 maybe. Uh, without any profiling of the filling. Packing time, four to five seconds in that material in these uh, wall thicknesses, 400 bar, packing pressure in five seconds, and melt temperature mold. These are initial, so I don't change this. I normally always do transient analysis on the cooling. And then I put in uh, initial mold temperature. That is when the mold is uh, put up to the molding machine, like 30 degrees and a cooling time of five mold opening yeah 3.5 maybe cooling channel i don't change 50 degrees of water and here it is mold metal then you can you can see here mold insert core 
and the other one the p20 is a normal tool steel property so i just think uh, i need a mold max i take this one for example and say okay to this and if the mold insert has an initial temperature that is different from these 30 degrees you can do something but i never change that because the mold insert is inside the the mold like that and then i'm ready just to run this uh, transient analysis and yeah of course you should secure that you have enough steps in the fully transient here otherwise you're not able to see the the temperatures in different uh, cooling steps one thing that you also can do i just have to run the analysis now but you can also do in boundary conditions there is this uh, heat transfer coefficient if you click this one you're able for example if you only have support inside the mold on this surface and this surface and there's air around here then you can uh, define say for example say here 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 and here these surfaces then we can say okay we have a, a heat conductivity between or uh, heat transfer let's say 100 like that then it's highlighted and then you don't have any heat transfer or you have some but very less low heat transfer on these surfaces so if there's a special mounting of this mold insert you can take this also into account and then i just have to run the analysis i did um, i have already made some runs so um, if you look at this one And look at the cooling then we can look at the cooling maybe i right click there and look at the cooling let's say uh, after 8.3 seconds there and then you can see the temperature this is with a mold max inside um you can also and if uh, you can see here Normally, it, this one would be hottest, but due to the good uh, heat conductivity of the mold max, you, you have this inner core cool down, so you are in temperature around 40 degrees. If you want then to test uh, up against uh, if it's uh, how it works with steel, uh, I have also done that. And you can see here, at the same time, uh, eight point three. I have a temperature of ninety seven. So the mold max is really doing a good job because of the high core. But uh, how to do the this um, um, just with steel? You can of course de delete them the mold insert but what I normally do is I just take a copy of the run like this this was just the run I prepared and then I go only into the process and mold metal here I just change this for for the steel same tool steel instead of changing the mesh and all this I just say, okay, I have an insert, but it's made of steel. It's like having a, a mold uh, total. And say save, okay, okay, close. And I'm ready to run these two uh, analysis. If I then had a um, mesh matching, um, I can again, okay, we'll take this one, copy this one, say okay. 
And then I'll just try to match the faces just to start all over. I delete all solid mesh, keep it at solid mesh. I say no to that, continue. Then I don't have any solid mesh. I still have a surface mesh, but I go up here, mesh control, solid, and take this way away here. Keep match face during gate rebuild. This is important if you have a gate on top. So um, now when I go to generate, I still have uh, the mesh, but it's not matching. If I look at this, the generate, match contact faces, generate. Now it's matching everything, it moves around. So now every, um, uh, every element is the same or are overlapping totally correct uh, in the, um, in every uh, connection between the mole insert, the cooling, and also the mole insert and the part. So it's just go ahead and exact uh, same procedure as before. So um, nothing uh, different but that. Okay, this is how you can uh, use mole inserts in uh, Molex 3D. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.